Greetings. In this video, I want to help you troubleshoot a TP-Link network that's no longer getting internet. Let's say you have the router on in your home, and then you have maybe one or two Ethernet adapters, and for whatever your reason you're not getting internet, I want to help you fix this issue. So the first thing I want you to do is we're going to do a cold reset of every TP-Link device that you have in your home and the router. So what you want to do is go wherever the router is. You want to actually unplug it from the wall, the router. You want to you want to pull out all your TP-Link Ethernet adapters from the wall. You want to wait 15 minutes. Okay. Then what I want you to do is go back to where the router is, plug it back in. Make sure you're getting internet service. Test a laptop or a smartphone to that network and make sure you're getting internet connection. Then what I want you to do is then plug in all your Ethernet adapters into the wall, whether that you have one or two. And what we're going to do is we're going to factory reset the uh, the adapters. Now I don't care if they're brand new; you're going to do this anyway, used or brand new. And while it's plugged into the wall, you're going to hold down the pair button for 15 seconds, and you don't let go. And that's doing a full factory reset on it. And what's going to happen is is the green light will be on or blinking and it's going to momentarily after 15 seconds it's the lights are going to completely shut off and then they're going to turn back on release and again make sure you do this to all the adapters and then it's ready to start pairing again so go back to where your adapter is that you, and then what you want to do is you want to try to pair it with your network you're going to hold down the pair button for two seconds and let go. And what's going to happen is it's going to start blinking. Go back to your, your internet router. And then what you want to do is you're going to hold down the pair button for two seconds. And if it's blinking, the light should turn solid. On your router at home, there's going to be a WPS button. You can go ahead and go ahead and hold down that WPS button on your router for two seconds and let go. If, if you can. Now rush back to wherever you have the other adapter that we showed at the beginning and these lights should then be solid green and then you know that you're pairing. Most likely that's going to fix the issue. Turn it back on and it should start pairing. Let me know in the comments section if this worked for you and make sure you subscribe.